Abby Foster, Miss Illinois, thanks for joining us on the Illinois Channel. Of course, I'm excited to be here. When did your reign begin and what brings you to the Capitol? I was crowned actually last June, so I have about 45 days left as Miss Illinois, but I'm here at the Capitol today just kind of to bring awareness for our organization and our program and what it has to offer for young women. And what does it offer? Well, we are actually the largest scholarship providing organization for women in the United States. I myself this year have uh, received over $15,000 in scholarships. So just here advocating for that and just also just the organization brings so many opportunities, whether that be travel, meeting people, and just getting to see not only your state, but the United States as well. Are you presently in the uh in a college or is this a full-time task to be Miss Illinois? Miss Illinois is a full-time job for one year, uh, but when I finish up my role as Miss Illinois, I will go back to school at Ball State University. I am going into my senior year there studying elementary education. Right, and what part of Illinois are you from? Danville, so it's the east central region of the state, about two hours from the capital. Uh, Mayor Scott Eisenhower is over yes, there. Yes, yes, he is a good friend of mine. I've worked with him for many years. So what do you learn, aside from people think of it as the beauty pageant, because when we see it, that's what we see, what is in part of the job that you do over the course of this year? What is it that one actually does as Miss Illinois? So when I spoke to the Senate earlier, I also touched on this, and I said uh, the one great thing about being Miss Illinois is that the job is different every day. And some days I wake up as an advocate for the program. Some days I wake up as a mentor for young kids promoting my personal platform, which is Building Blocks for Success Youth Mentoring. Uh, and then some days you're, you're traveling and you're just a friend to the people that you're meeting uh, and helping others kind of uh, promote responsibility. I am an ambassador for Character Counts throughout the state, so that is something I do. I travel to a lot of schools and talk about that. Uh, so Miss Illinois has many jobs, and I don't have one part that's my favorite. Great. And uh, so when we say Character Counts, so among the things you would do, I mean, I, I don't know how familiar you were with giving speeches before you became Miss Illinois, but certainly you must get used to uh, public speaking, which is a good thing to uh, have as a talent. It is such a great thing to kind of have build up in my closet. I was the State Fair Queen the year before I was Miss Illinois, so I had kind of had a little bit of background in public speaking, but this has just been uh, promoted on such a different level. I went to Miss America, which was in Atlantic City, New Jersey, and was on you know national television, and so those are just experiences that I have that most normal 21-year-olds don't have that I can bring to the table when I'm done with my year of service. And we were talking off camera, uh, Erica Harold, who is the Republican nominee for attorney general is a former Miss America and she in fact went through the process so she got the tuition uh, money. Yes. And that, I think that was pretty much a big reason why she got involved with the organization much like myself but Erica Harold is just such a great ambassador for the program. She's done great things and I've been fortunate enough to kind of be able to work with her uh, preparing for Miss America and she is from Champaign so that central part of the state uh, and we're very proud of her as an organization. If there are young ladies out there who say, you know, maybe I'd like to uh, try to go out for that, what advice would you give them? I would tell them to go for it. I was not someone that got started in pageantry when I was very young. I was about 15. I got started in the fair organization and kind of moved my way up through our outstanding teen program and now in the Miss program. Uh, and it's just we're not, we don't ever look for one certain thing. It's all the qualities put together that we look for in a Miss Illinois. And it's just such a great opportunity whether you win or not. You're building your resume, public speaking skills, and the chance to have scholarship to go to school. I guess you've traveled all around the state of Illinois, right? Yes, I have. East, west, north, south, all over. Over the course of the year, what things have you learned about the state that you were born in but maybe you didn't know? You know, I, I, I learn something new everywhere I go, and I think that's the beauty of it. But our state is so beautiful and diverse, whether I'm in the Chicago area in the city or if I'm down south in Marion where our pageant is actually hosted in the small town feel. Uh, everybody has something different to offer, and I think that's one great thing about our state. Abby Foster, thank you. Yes, thank you so much.